Eiffel Proud on this Valentine's Day. We are super excited to be back in the music hall after all the COVID mess for the last three or four years, and we're still dealing with some of it. Um, we have a good friend who passed away last year, but he was a wonderful uh, conductor and a wonderful harp supporter as well. And he received a really interesting review from the Boston area as he played harp support to a messiah for the Handel Haydn Society. And the reviewer said at one point, not just polite tinklings in the background. <laughs> so uh, our Renaissance consort, we'll be playing some medieval music as well, could never be described as polite tinklings in the background. So I'll give you a brief introduction to the instruments that we're playing. I won't have a lot to say here in this concert because we want to delight you with music and, and not with spoken word. Um, so this is a broken concert. We're playing different instruments, and these are designed for large spaces and even outdoor spaces. Um, even though we're on a theme of love, this is sort of a robust love. So Beth has the loudest of the instruments in the concert. She's on a shawm. She's our Sean specialist in this group, although we all play a variety of instruments. Uh, I'm playing the crumb horn. This is a cat reed as opposed to hers, which is a direct blow reed. Um, Alan is playing, uh, not, it's not really a sad one, it should be a sad one, but instead to keep it in tune, we actually have a soprano uh, trombone, is it? Yes. Uh, and Deb's our percussion. She's a wonderful percussionist, but we'll see if we play other instruments today. And finally, Jane is on the Dulcian, which is the uh, predecessor um, for the bassoon. We will be playing um, in broken concert mostly today, but we will switch to pure concert using all recorders, and you'll see the difference in the texture. So, your job today, I put in a little note, we don't have room for a lot of program notes, uh, to tell you basically what the theme of love is. There's romantic love, there's spiritual love, uh, there's love uh, from a lost love. So uh, keep in mind what your mind tells you today in contemporary music, uh, when you listen to a show, you have kind of an idea of what sets the mood. It was very different in the Renaissance and certainly in the Middle Ages. So your homework is, is this the sound you expected for, for example, loss of love or romantic love? We have two more, this by the way was in the form of a pavan. We have two more pavans to play for you. These are often accompanied by vocals. We do many of them instrumentally, but we will add vocals to the next one to show you that demonstration of another robust love. Oh, one last thing before we begin. The story in this one, the story in this one is this is a courtier, a, a nobleman, and he's really making the moves on a lady of the court. She's having none of it. Ne servait pas 
je prends. Certaines pensées, je ne le veux de point. Certaines apprennent et poussent la manie. Et la spontane de bon pour vous, merci. This next pavan is less robust and it has a lot more uh, uh, of a luxurious sound to it. It's a very, very stately dance, by the way. <clears throat> In your program, we are now at the piece, Pour Vous Amour. It, be, it begins to get a little bit more delicate with instrumentation.
Many of these pieces <coughs> are in the early versions of languages. Uh, the, the second pavan that we sang, again, is an early version. You'll hear some changes in the way that, for example, in this next piece, Douce d'Angerly, the way French was pronounced compared to today. The word moi, for example, myself, moi, becomes moi. And there are other examples that you may hear if you are a French speaker. So that explains some of the difference. Why did the Middle Ages take so long? <laughs> the tuning. Thank it's an old Michael. joke. Thank you, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> there were three ravens sat on a tree. Down, a down, a down, a down, they were as black as 
they might be with a dawn. The one of them said to his mate, Where shall we our breakfast take? With a down, derry, 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 down, down. Down in yonder green field, down, down, head down, down. Down in yonder green field, with a down. Down in yonder green field, there lies a knight slain under his shield. With a down, derry, 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 down, down. The hounds they lie down at his feet. Down, a down, hey, down, a down. So well they can their master keep. With a down, his hawks they.
piece, and this next one, Si J'ai Perdu Mon Ami, uh, you can see that a pure consort sound has a quite different texture.
Much of the love themes you've heard so far have been secular love. This next one is uh, uh, sacred love. <coughs> oh, by the way, uh, this harp that I'm over here. This harp that Jamie is playing is called the Bray Harp. Yes, it's supposed to sound like that. It sounds sort of like the mouth harps of today, and it has a sort of twang uh, sound to it. But it's a very, very beautiful sound that in these pieces of music it is very typical of, of some harps of the Middle Ages. those of you interested in knowing where we are in the program, we're just starting Pena Omagen, and then we will go immediately into Rosa de Rosas.
very, very well-known medical composer, Guillaume de Marchaud, and it will feature not an art iteration, two recorders alone with a very slight percussion in the background. You see how exotic some of this music can be.
folks.